Hi everybody, this is my tutorial on how you add the phone system to your avatar. Please note that you'll need some prior knowledge of Unity to get through this. The only other requirement besides that is the Avatars 3 Manager, which I'll leave a link to down in the description. The first step is to import my package, which I already have, and you'll find it up here in exclamation mark LOD. If you want to open that, go into the phone and find a file called drag me in. Inside you'll find a prefab called phone main and you want to drag that anywhere you want into your scene. You'll find the phone spawn down here and I'll tell you what to do next. Oh and I forgot to mention, please make sure you have the latest version of Pyomi. The current version that I'm using right now is 8.0.267. With your prefab in the scene, you want to drag it underneath your avatar and open it up. You'll want to right click and click unpack prefab. In here, you'll find everything that you'll need First thing you want to do is click on TP left and drag that around to where you want the phone to be, which in this case will be in the left hand. Now the top of the phone will be along this blue arrow. So what you want to do is you want to position it around this way and then rotate it a little bit. Now you just want a rough estimate so you can fix this up later. But for now I want you to go down your armature, into the spine, lower back, into the left shoulder go down until you find left wrist and you want to drag TP left into there. Next what you want to do is click on your avatar and in controller you want to click this little button and click FX phone and what you want to do is go into play mode. Oh, so you go into play mode. And what you want to do is you want to fly the camera close to your hand. Notice that your avatar is doing this weird kind of hand gesture. That's how I like to hold my phone, so that's what I've made this. What you want to do is go to parameters in your animator, go gesture left equals one and phone grab on. Notice that the phone teleports to this location. What you want to do is click on TP left and you want to rotate it, move it around until it looks right inside your avatar's hand. Now this one is a little bit big, so you want to go down to main container, click on the phone, scale and you can scale it down as much as you please. You can move the phone around like this but I suggest you only ever move TP left if you want to reposition it. It may take some fiddling around but you'll get it in place eventually don't worry. I'm pretty happy with this it looks like he's properly holding the phone and what you want to do is you want to click on TP left click up here little three dots and click copy component. Please also make sure if you resized the phone what this number is you probably want to copy paste that somewhere for later. Usually notepad will do. Okay now what you want to do is you want to get out of play mode, click on TP left and click paste component values right here. That will move it around and there we go. Then you want to copy your scale that you did on the phone, click on the phone and replace all of these values with that number. Next you want to click on the holster right here and you want to move this to where you want the phone to be. So on this avatar, if I turn his pants on, maybe I want the, uh, the phone to be default, like on his leg here. Yeah, that looks nice. In this specific scenario, I want this to move with this bone, this part of the leg. So what I'll do is I'll go to his left leg and drag the holster underneath that. And then as you can see here, whenever I move the leg, it will follow along. We're almost done with the setup. This can be a little bit complex, so make sure you follow along. Make sure you have the VR Labs 3.0 Manager, which is what I mentioned in the beginning, and there's a link in the description. You wanna open that, which I already have over here, and you wanna drag in your avatar. And you wanna go down to, you wanna click here, and you wanna click on your avatar's default FX. You wanna click Add Animator to merge, go down into the phone system, go to the FX and drag in FX to the phone. I suggest you then click merge as new. Click this, go down here and here's your new FX. It's your old one and your new one combined. Your avatar, go down here and replace the old FX with this new one. I suggest you also call it something new, so FX use the phone.
Now to make the phone actually work with your avatar, you want to probably bring up your animator so you can see more of it and go to layers and then scroll down. You'll find the phone with nothing in it and a bunch of buttons. If we go down here to the phone, I will label these which is which button. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And those all correspond to these down here. Now you don't want to touch this or turn on. These are the ones that we want to be messing with. What you do now to make these buttons actually work with your avatar is you want to click on this one and see over here we have these avatar parameter drivers. Now this is the default state when it's not clicked. What you want to do is this will be the off state and this will be the on state. So you click this and this will set your thing on and this will set your thing off. So let's say I want this one to turn my shoes on. What I'll do is I'll set this one and I'll click this one, go here and click shoes. Now this will set my parameter shoes, which controls if my shoes are on or off, to off. And this one will set it to on. So now when I click button one, it will turn my shoes off. And then if I click it again, it'll turn them on. Now this is where the Unity knowledge comes in. If you have things like ints, you will set, instead of a value on and off, you'll set it to zero or one, or even higher, if you want to do more advanced things. And that's it. The phone is now set up to work with your avatar. Now we're at the part of the video where we talk about customization. The phone you can customize in many different ways. Go to object and go to material. You have a lot of options to be to work with. First off, if you go here, you can change the color. As you can see here, we can go through a bunch of different hues, change the brightness. So it goes dark or really bright. And you can control the saturation. As you I make it really saturated, the colors will pop a lot more. Alternatively, you can control the colors here. This is a little bit stronger, but a lot more customizable. I reckon a good light blue will be good for Apollo. To change the background on the phone, what you want to do is go back into the material, open up the textures, and drag in any photo that you want. And I'll be using this one right here. What you want to do is you want to go down to decals, open up number one and number two, which are well, zero and one, and you want to replace the decal in here. As you can see, it's been changed, it's a little bit off. What you can do is you can change the position here, drag that, and put it wherever I want. You can also change the scale of it to be bigger longer and again you can put whatever you want in here now to change the apps in the background uh, what you want to do is you want to assign all the buttons first so you already have everything set up to what you want and then you want to open up your photo editing app of your choice this can be anything from photoshop to gimp to all of, there's quite a lot of online things you can choose from you want to right click on the apps and click show and explorer back it here we have the apps right here you want to go into your photo editing program and you want to open that file i have also included a photoshop file uh, for your convenience i don't have any icons that i want to do for apollo currently but once you're done you want to export it and replace the apps file. Then once you get back into Unity, give it a second and it will update this. My avatar Ace has a good example of how the phone should look when it's all set up. As you can see in the top left, we have the jacket icon. So when you go down to button one, you go to here, you'll see that overcoat, which is jacket, overcoat, same thing, is set to zero and over here is set to one. And as you can see in this video, all the buttons work just fine. Now the phone has been fully customized to your liking. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any problems, come join my Discord, link in the description.